use the timeline of the incidents as documented by the husband in his written submission. He writes, I'll explain our most recent encounter below, but first I'll tell some additional things that have been heard around where we live. My wife and I live in a rural area in East Texas, about 10 to 15 minutes from a town of about 13 to 14,000 people, which is Henderson. My wife and I have heard howls on two different occasions. Once together about a year and a half ago, it was in the afternoon about 4 or 5 p.m. We were sitting outside with our dogs. There was a classic Bigfoot howl that sounded a good ways off. She also heard another howl about a year ago at a different property about three or four miles down the road. Her father and herself were loading up a hog in a hog trailer and she heard the same howl that we heard together a few months before, but much louder and closer. The first sighting that she had, which is about two and a half years ago, happened at night while she was letting our dogs back in from using the restroom. The dogs were unusually on high alert while she was trying to call them in. She saw and then heard a very large dark bipedal thing running through the pasture behind us. From the sound it made, she knew it was extremely heavy and it was too quick for a person. I examined the area that night and the next day, but the ground was too firm for tracks. I firmly believe she saw and heard a Bigfoot that evening. That brings me to her most recent encounter. On March 4th, 2022, about 9.20 p.m., I get a text from her while sitting in my recliner while she was in the bathtub that she sees red eyes outside the bathroom window looking at her. I wait for her to finish getting out of the bathtub to talk to her. She explains to me that while she was standing up to get out of the tub, she had the feeling of being watched. She looked over to the window and saw the red eyes looking at her about midway up the window. After she saw them, she immediately looked away due to being startled. The motion light on that end of the house came on when she looked away, and when she looked back, whatever was there was gone. I asked her if she noticed the light coming on and off before she exited the tub, and she said that she didn't recall it coming on, but she really wasn't paying attention. She said she would not have noticed the light coming on outside due to her being on the phone while in the tub, and most of, if not nearly all of the window in her line of sight is blocked by a large house plant that's by the window. The motion light is very sensitive and responds well to the slightest movement. After she saw nothing was there, she immediately closed the window and curtains. Now to give some context, earlier before she got in the bathtub, I sprayed some coil cleaner on the A-coil in our house to clean it. I turned on the AC to help the cleaning process. By then she was already in the tub and was complaining to me of the smell going through the house from the coil cleaner. So I went to the bathroom and opened the curtains and the window for her so she could get some fresh air. She told me that she didn't feel threatened by whatever it was looking at her, just startled to see red eyes and something right outside the window. She did not see the outline of the body, just the eyes. I asked how far apart the eyes were, and from what she showed me, it came out to be about six inches apart. She said that she did not hear it run away and did not smell anything unpleasant except the coil cleaner. After hearing this, I grabbed my 45 and walked outside to the window to examine the area. I had her go to the window on the inside so that I could get a little more information out of her. Understandably, she was pretty shaken up by this point. When I got to the window, she showed me approximately how high the eyes were off the ground and where they were positioned. Now keep in mind, our house sits off the ground and isn't on a slab. She said the eyes were just below the bottom sash bar of the window. When I opened the window earlier, I opened it up as far as it would go. I'm six feet tall and going off where she said the eyes were, I estimated them to be about six foot eight to seven feet off the ground. Now the angle that the eyes were in the window was perfectly in line to look through that plant I mentioned to examine my wife in the tub. Talk about freaky. I did not notice any footprints on the ground outside around the window or handprints on the house. Okay, I was letting our dogs out to go potty before we go to bed. And um, as I'm letting them out, I always stand out there and watch because we have hogs. We've had a bear out here. 
we have panthers like we have I mean things that you know could hurt our dogs and so I always stay out there to watch them and um whenever you go out our, our back door there's I can't remember how many steps out there but there's quite a few steps and I'm standing at the top of those steps watching our dogs and one of our Labradors is posturing like it can sense something out there and about that same time of course I have my flashlight so I can see out further and I shined the light that way and I could see this animal over there crouch down just like kind of behind but more so beside the tree and what's well, like a cluster of trees and um whenever I started hollering for our animals to come back inside it stood up and that's when I could see how tall it was it was massive and it's like isn't it like two is it two or three trees that's connected together oh, it's two it's a split pine tree when it stood up it was trying to like hide behind those trees and I could see both shoulders like showing from either side of those that little cluster of trees and I was like holy cow <laughs> so I'm hollering for our dogs to get in very quickly and as soon as our dogs got in the house I saw it step out it like to me it would be like sprinting but it was like effortlessly walking away to go back towards the woods and it was the most massive step I have ever seen in my life <laughs> um okay I, I've pulled up are you able to see the image on your screen yes okay so that was the view from your porch yes and your husband is standing where you saw the, the figure standing yes okay and it, it's it, it's head it, what do i see there do i see a fence yes that's our backyard fence okay i'm going to zoom in a little bit maybe it'll zoom in on the picture that's your backyard fence. so it would have been yes. outside the fence correct okay um okay so you're uh, it, we'll put it concisely you're out there with your dogs and you heard something or first no, you no i just uh one of our dogs the labs they uh posture whenever they sense something and that's where you know as their hair uh, raises on the back of their body and their tail points and they just like their posture is like pointing in the direction of wherever they're they see something or hear something whatever it is and so I shine the light in that direction which was towards those trees and that's where I saw where my husband is he was he or she was crouched down a little bit lower than him and then when I started hollering for my dogs to come in, because you have to be stern with them so they will listen in a time like that. So I was trying to get them to come inside. And when I did that, it stood up. And I've never seen anything so tall. <laughs> okay. And what time of night? Uh, it was dark so probably around probably 10. around bedtime yeah nine to ten and it was just slightly illuminated by an outside porch light yes but i also had my flashlight and shined it that direction oh and okay that's when i could see it and you didn't see any eyes reflecting at you no not i'm trying i did i i want to say i did but i don't want to be 100 percent okay on that. but yeah. um i know whenever it stood up it was kind of looking down but still in my direction 
okay, it could have averted its eyes if it didn't want to be blinded. But right. your husband is standing there, and you're, and there's a branch up above his head. Yes. So when it stood up, it was like, what, about halfway in between the top of his head and that branch? No, it was right below that branch. It was right below that branch? Yes. Wow. That's a big boy. And how tall is your husband? Six foot. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm... I'm going to stop sharing this screen and we'll switch. I got to switch to another photo um, showing on the window photo. Okay. Can you see the window photo now? Yes. Okay. I was taking a bath. That is our bathroom. Um, so I'm on Instagram. I don't like it to be quiet. So I like to have noise going. So I have the stories playing on Instagram. So I'm not really paying attention to anything. My husband had actually done something to our air conditioner. So what was it that you sprayed or whatever? Oh, uh, cool cleaner. So there was a strong scent and he had to come in there and raise the window so it would not be that strong. And so the window was open. I'm not really paying attention to what's going on outside. And I leave the stories going as I'm getting out of the bathtub because I can't, I don't like it to be quiet. Um, and as I'm getting up, I can see, I, like, I feel like something is watching me. And so I kind of look over and I can see two deep, deep red glowing eyes. And it kind of startled me but I did not feel threatened or like anything was going to harm me. I just, it was just that eerie feeling of somebody watching you. And so I just kind of held my breath. I didn't know whether to holler for my husband or just to try to go shut the window. And that's what I did. I got out of the bathtub and I went and shut the window and closed the curtain. And then I went and got my husband and to go tell him what happened and of course he knows all about all of this stuff i don't really listen to much of it so i don't know much about it and of course he had to go outside and make sure like to see like the hot that i was talking about according to his hot and everything and yeah okay we'll do the first one with the plant, uh, where we could see through the plant, and I'll zoom in better. As we yes. zoom in, you see his hand out there. Yes. And so the hand is about where the eyes would have been. Yes. Okay. This is the one where you were, at this point, you were standing up when you saw it. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm not completely stood up at this time. I'm like, in the process of standing up and that's whenever I looked at that window and I could see the eyes. Okay. When you were sitting down on your phone, I'll switch to that image now. Okay. It would have been more like this. Yes, it is. So it's different than the one before. Right. Okay. So from that angle, sitting there, it's, it's dark outside. It's bright inside. You're looking at your phone. You wouldn't, you weren't able to see it, but it no. may have been kind of trying to peek around that uh, yeah. to get a look at you, but it wouldn't have had, it certainly wouldn't have had a good look at you, um, except just to see a little bit, maybe the top of your head. Right. Okay. Interesting. And I'm going to go back to the other one where you see his hand and zoom in on it. So is the window exactly the way it was that night? Yes, everything is exactly how it was. And so you're not looking through glass, but rather a screen. Is that correct? Correct. And it would have been completely dark out there. Oh, for sure. We're, it, there's nothing around us. <laughs> okay. How many, seconds, how many seconds do you think you were looking right at those eyes? Oh, 
just like a couple seconds because like I say I it's like startled me so I just like held my breath and I looked down and I uh, grabbed my towel and that's when I made that decision to go close the window and as I'm going to close the window it's like I'm stepping out of the bathtub and the light our security light on the outside turns on and it's that split second of do I look at what's out there or do I not <laughs> and so I just went ahead and looked and at that time I did not see anything so it had already moved